Hello everyone, this is Joe the Orange, and today I am going to be playing Caesar with two catapults and one infantry. This is the classic Caesar composition, unit composition should I say. You want those infantry so you can stake and defend your catapults, and you want those catapults just to annoy the shit out of the enemy. And sometimes your own teammates, sometimes you accidentally might uh, miss a few shots and uh, hit one of your teammates. But hopefully with some practice you can avoid doing that and keep it to annoying the enemy. That's the main goal. The reason I chose this deployment area, as you can see it's only got two entrances so I can put those stakes up and wall myself off very easily. And walling yourself off as catapults is very important. You don't have any melee potential. You're the scrubbiest of scrub when it comes to melee combat. Just think of your crew as peasants who somehow found a rocket launcher. It's not going to the rocket launcher is not going to be any fucking help when people get close. I I don't even know how rocket launchers work, so I don't even know why I'm using this metaphor. Let me just say this instead. If you don't wall yourself off, and a cav unit runs down the side and sees your three catapults, you're fucked. So bring one infantry unit with stakes, or maybe even a scorpion unit with stakes, and wall yourself off to buy you some time for your allies to help you. It also stops cav from just destroying you right at the start of the game, which can happen, trust me, I've been there, <laughs> done that. Now, early in this video, you may have noticed my range kept changing. That was because I shot my first load. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds fucked up, but that's what I did. I shot my first load, right? And got that out of the way because it was already loaded up. And then I changed the accurate to see the range of that ability. Not only for a later reference to know when I can use it and when I can't, but just to see if I could use that ability at the time. With more experience, I should know that just naturally, but I'm not that experienced with catapults. And the reason I shot the first load before I changed my ammunition was because it was already loaded. And when you do change to a different type of ammunition, it restarts your load time. So you're better off just using those boulders before you change over to one of your consumables. Also, remember to use Vidi a lot more often than I do. I forget that shit all the time. I'm playing Caesar just so I can have the ability and now I forget to use it. Now I am disassembling at this stage and I'm going to do a very risky move. I'm going to move up out of my defensive position and go shoot the fuck out of their artillery. This can go two ways. Either I get run over in five seconds, or I manage to kill their catapults. And it's 50-50, really. This is a bad idea sometimes, and the best idea other times. Luckily for me, I know the war dogs are on the other side of the map, so the risk is a far distance away. I don't think they have, no, they don't have any cav. Well, they have one cav, but I also have one infantry unit. So I'm not scared of that unit. And by moving up here, I can get extra points for my team because I know where their catapults deployed and the chances of them moving up is minimal. You'll find that in a lot of situations, the other catapults never move position. So it's kind of safe to presume they're still there. Also, you just saw those boulders fly past, so that's a bit of a giveaway. The enemy catapults are also at a disadvantage because they don't know where I am, but I know exactly where they are. And I'm in range to use my accurate shot. So it would, it would take him a while to even realize he's getting damaged because he's probably zoomed across the other side of the world. An accurate shot does not destroy the catapults. It just da damages the crew. You might be thinking, surely he's going to notice, surely, but it's harder than you think. It's the small ticking damage, you zoom so far away, there's no real warning on 
your screen apart from your health bar, so I can't really fault him for not noticing. While this damage is ticking through, I'll just give you some tips when you're playing catapults. You want to start using manual aim. Don't rely on auto aim as it's not that accurate. Also, don't expect too many kills. You can have high kill games, but mostly you're dropping the health of the enemy, not actually killing them. So you'll find in some games, you will annihilate the enemy. You will be thinking, I must be on top of the fucking world. But then you look at the kill death ratio and you've done nothing. Which isn't too much of an issue because you will still get a shit ton of experience. Just don't expect to be on top of the board. This goes for every range unit. You well, there are some players that are fucking just that good. That with any fucking unit they get high kills. But what I find with range in general is that you do a lot of damage but you don't actually finish the units off. And it's the same with Caesar Cav. I actually had my highest win percent with Caesar Cav. Uh, I think two tests ago. But my kill ratio was really low. All I was doing is going around to every melee combat and buffing my allies, which helped us win so much. But I couldn't actually kill that much myself. You do get rewarded for it though. It's just that it's not obvious. Just look at the XP you get, don't look at the kill death ratio. And that will show if you've done well buffing your allies, etc. But let's go back to the game. I'm using a tier 6 Caesar. And that is why I can shoot into this combat situation and hit the enemy and not my ally. At lower tiers it's much harder. So keep that in mind when you are le leveling Caesar that tier 6, way strong. At tier 5, not so strong. The reason being at tier 6 Vidi reduces your... Oh, I can't even remember what it's called. Uh, your radius by a lot. It makes it compact so you can shoot into those melee situations and help your allies. And that's what I was saying about you might accidentally, when leveling up, shoot your allies once in a while, and you won't make many friends doing it. So maybe wait until tier 6 before you go for those close shots. Also, to any of you catapult players out there, have you found any of the other ammunition that useful? Personally, I'm stuck with acrid smoke. It's, it's either too fucking strong, or... The other ammunition is way more situational and I just don't like the other ammunition. I think the reason being the boulders do a fair bit by themselves and when I use that oil consumable that's meant to um, increase your armor penetration or some shit, it doesn't seem to do that much more damage than your average boulder. But that might just be me, I haven't really used the other ammunition that much because Acrid's just awesome. What I would really like though is some, you know, versatile ammunition, something that isn't just damage based, like, for example, shooting skulls that give a massive morale debuff, or shooting something that would slow the enemies, I don't know, maybe that's what the skulls could do, you shoot them and it slows the enemies down. Oh, by the way, this is a bit in the game where I figured out, boulders aren't that good in the water. <laughs> if you notice, they just go plop, plop, that could be another ammunition. Light boulders that shoot into difficult terrain better than your average boulder because they bounce off walls or they skim across the water. That's a bit far-fetched, a fucking boulder skimming across the water, but you know, you get what I mean. Just something different. A lot of them are just damage-based and the boulders by themselves do enough damage in my opinion. As far as... Balancing catapults goes, you might have seen the forums, people say they're too powerful, and then other people say they should be removed from the game. Other people say they're fucking useless. It's all over the place. What I find is, they annoy the shit out of one person in the game just by shooting them over and over, boom, boom, boom. And that player has a bad experience because they didn't get to do anything that whole damn game. Which makes them think they're OP. Look, in this situation here, they're all blobbed. This doesn't happen every game. But it's very good to be a catapult player in this situation. If you hit, I missed a fucking ton right there. I missed a ton. 
I was trying not to friendly fire, I should have just gone straight in the middle. But, when it comes to those giant engagements, where there's way more enemy than your allies, stick out as being OP, because that's their ideal thing, is when the enemy are just all there in a the big group, and you just nuke the fuck out of them. See, at the moment, I could guess any direction, I've got to hit something. Because they were in that big fucking battle, and then they're spreading out to avoid my catapults, which actually lets me hit them, well, I have a good chance of hitting them just randomly shooting. And you may have noticed, wherever that dude drew where I should shoot, I purposely didn't shoot there, because I fucking hate when people tell me what to do. I'm making a video telling you what to do. Even though I hate getting told what to fucking do. I know, it's hip hypocritical. I always do the- you guys are probably doing it now. Do the opposite of what I say. Because fuck that guy. Fuck you. Literally, I wanted to shoot in those areas. But since he drew something there... I was like, nah, I'm not fucking doing it. I'm not doing that shit. So if you see me in game and you want me to do something... Tell me the opposite. If you want me to go forward, say, Jonah, you should go back and I'll be like, well, fuck you, buddy. I'm going forward. So yeah, reverse psychology really works on me. I just can't fucking... Oh, I just can't do what people tell me to do. I just can't do it. Which is a bad trait I know I have to work on, but... My brain, the minute someone says, do this or don't do this... I'm like, I'm fucking <laughs> doing what... I'm doing the opposite of what you want. Right now. And then I try to make guides on this game, like, this is what you should do! <laughs> but anyways, you may have noticed I'm running that infantry unit, oh, well, sorry, that catapult unit to the other side of the world. Because if we can buy enough time, we'll win. If that catapult unit stays alive, because the scores are so damn close. Now, I kept that other catapult unit there, just to provide buffs to my allies, and hopefully we can win this engagement. I have a feeling if that dog player just killed... He stopped chasing my catapult unit and just killed... The other... My allies and my infantry, they would win. And then I tried to rout this dude, didn't bloody work. Maybe I should have just ran both the... Arty units away? It probably would have been a better idea. Just to run everything away and just... Wait for the timer to tick down. But, you know, whatever. And it looks like we're going to win anyways. So, let's talk about the next few videos. I did say I was going to make a Caesar Cab video and a Scipio video. But, they're on delay because I just haven't had time to make them. And I made this one first because someone asked for a catapult video. So yeah, I kind of take requests. But if you tell me to test a tier 10 unit or something like that, you shit out of luck. You know how long it takes to grind that? But if you just want a basic guide like this one, that's easy enough to do. So hit us up. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Enjoy your gaming. Also, Cav videos next, so enjoy that shoot.